that wasn't the only news that came about from this, innit? Another weird circumstance, another weird twist in this whole affair. This is definitely the strangest of times we're living in. Ed Woodward has resigned as CEO of um, Manchester United, Manchester United executive, or executives, whatever, executive vice chairman, right? He's resigned, Ed Woodward. One of the most um, reprehensible, probably I would say most hated figure at United, considering how little he knows about the game and how kind of sure he is of his own ability and his horrendous track record in hiring managers, constructing a team, um, you know, p putting the infrastructure around the club to in order to be successful, just a complete and utter waste of space, a weasel in all ways, shape or form, has resigned. And this is somebody you would have thought would have been happy to have cut, can continued, you know, cashing in a salary doing for doing absolutely nothing and being very bad at his job. And he's resigned the pressure from this ESL protest and the backlash that's come from it was just too much for him to handle. And he resigned. Absolutely insane. I would have never guessed it. I really wouldn't have guessed it. This wouldn't have been an outcome that I would have ever assumed would have happened. And now there's even rumors that the Glazers might be open to selling the club, which is something a bit far fetched. I still think the Glazers are too bloodthirsty and, you know, have too much cold blood running through their bodies in order to kind of give up a cash cow like United. They don't have to invest that much into the club. They've got a manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who is quite ordinary, but has basically been able to prove that he can achieve top four football for consecutive seasons. And he, you know, uh, uh, despite a catastrophic failure, this probably going to happen again next season. So they, you know, they've basically got a guaranteed income in the Champions League. They're going to maybe be always there and thereabouts in the league continually. So I don't really see them ever letting their little dirty fingers off of the, you know, Man United ownership. I don't see it happening. But, there's rumours around it circulating and if Edward could resign then there is obviously still an opportunity for the Glazers to go as well because that would definitely be a new dawn a dawning of a new age for United there's a protest I think planned this weekend as well Glazers out protest but that would definitely be the dawning of a new age because I think everybody is aware especially most of the top six clubs that are owned by foreign investors we just need to get them out of football especially the ones that have no interest in making their teams the best in the world it's just not conducive to what we want to do but it's also very clear to us United fans, as much as we've seen managers come and go, who've basically been not very, not very much up to the job. And we've maybe had a very odd mix of players um, and no real clear direction what we want to do going forward as a club. What we can't deny is that our ownership has definitely held us back in, you know, from getting back to the heights of our glory days under, under SAF. We don't really have owners who really want us to be the best in the world we have owners who want to basically extract as much value as they can at the club but not in order to achieve sporting greatness and without new ownership and new direction we're just going to be hoping winging and a prayer that we have a manager and a team that can just combine to win us things you know on any given moment that's the only way that's going to happen it's not going to happen because of a concerted effort from the board to kind of put together a world-class team and approach and a plan in order to get us back to the top it's just going to come from just winging it on the day right um kind of thing so this is from sky sports said edward Manchester united executive vice chairman to step down flipping insane may not as vice chairman Edward would accept to step down from his role. The club confirmed. However, he will continue in his role in the club until the end of 2021. I don't know why. Just go now already. We hate you. It continues. Woodward has already agreed with the Glazers, United owners, that he would finish the Old Trafford at the end of the year. But the announcement was brought forward to Tuesday evening, of course, due to the backlash of the ESL. The news comes after uh, Chelsea and Manchester City announced that they had decided to leave the breakaway Super League following the mass rejection of the plans by fans and the governing bodies across Europe later on Tuesday evening. Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea and Spurs have said they would draw two. Woodward said, I will treasure my time at United. We won't treasure your time here, mate. Um, Woodward, who joined the United in 2005 and became the vice chairman in 2012, I'm extremely proud to serve United and it has been an honour to work with the world's greatest football club for the past 16 years. The club is well positioned for the future and it'll be, diff diff it'll be difficult to walk away at the end of the year. No, it won't be. We'll, we'll, we'll take you wherever you want to go, mate. I will treasure the memories from the time at Man United. Uh, during a period when we won the Europa League, the FA Cup, the NFL Cup, and proud <coughs> of the regeneration of the club's culture, and I'll re return to the United way of playing. What are you talking bullshit? You know what's really interesting? Having thought about this, maybe Edward was only the only reason why Edward decided to basically 
bring in a director of football, which isn't really a director of football, just gave gave this guy that was already at the club a name change and brought in Darren Fletcher, who has no experience at all in the role that he's doing. You know, absolute bullshit jobs, um, all things considered. Might be because he knew he was leaving anyway. Right, so this whole entire time, Edward has been at United, one of the kind of rallying calls from fans who've basically hated him, myself included, has been fair enough if you're going to be there. You're the accountant who's good with money and good with finances, and you've been able to exponentially grow United's revenue stream incomes, all this malarkey, which I don't really believe too tough. But hey, let's say he is a genius with numbers. Get someone else in that can handle the football side of things. So that means getting a director of football. But he was resistant to this from the onset. We kept like, you know, we kept hearing about us getting a DOF for years, planning, looking, shortlist, interviewing people. And it never happened until now. And now, coincidentally, he's also leaving just off the back of that announcement. So it then goes to show that he was never going to hire one if he was going to stay long term because he wanted to retain the power, even though he doesn't know what he's doing. Complete failure of a person. We have invested more than one billion in the squad during a time here, poorly, of course. And I'm particularly delighted with the progress the players have made under the astute leadership of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching team in the last two years. Fuck off, they've not won anything. I'm sure that with the changes we've had um, or made on the field, the coaching and the staff in recent years, the great club will soon be lifting silver again. It deserves to. You don't deserve to be anywhere near it. I desperately wanted the club to win the Premier League during my tenure and I'm certain the foundations are in place to win it. Back for my passionate fans. Back for our passionate fans. Sorry, continues. Our world-famous academy is flourishing again with 34 players progressing in the first team um, since 2013 it's been a pleasure to watch talents such as Marcus Rashford Greenwood Swansea be flourished in the first team environment in recent years to come what is that in recent years to come the club's production line of young talent will continue to push and establish first team players for their places that competition bodes well for the future we have also established many United Women's and the progress in the future further evidence of the demand and success of this great game yeah. absolute bottle jobs and Joe Glazer gave him a thing um, Wood Neville said he knew his time was going to be up so yeah I, I'm just shocked man I really am shocked to see Edward would finally leave I'm happy I'm over the moon it's such a weird kind of odd kind of result and consequence of this backlash and this protest from the ESL and I'm really pr proud to say that you know some of the moaning online has kind of affected some level of change and now United have the possibility of maybe returning back to where we were prior because we might be under some leadership that actually knows what they're, the fuck they're actually doing. You know, we might be in that position, might potentially, fingers crossed, who knows, who bloody knows.